So I'm sitting here thinking about change and it's September 1st, 2017. And I feel like there's a lot of change that's going to happen, not only in my life, but just the lives of people around me. I'm predicting the future. There's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be a lot of ups and a, and a couple downs, mostly ups though, mostly positive change. I have this, I have this intuition, if we'll call it, where I can just sense, you know, I can just sense what's going on around me. I can sense people's moods. I can, I can almost see things before they happen. And, you know, I don't expect other people to believe that. I mean, you don't have to, but I just see a lot of change coming in the year, uh, 2017 via the month of September, you know, and I don't know if that's, um, because of what's going to happen in September. And I don't know if it's, and, and I definitely don't know if it's because, uh, uh, behaviors or, or, or incidents that are going to occur in September that will actually have a bigger impact in the latter months of the year. I mean, I don't know, but I foresee a lot of change. And so the reason that I wanted to make this video is to tell you to prepare for the change, to prepare you uh, mentally, spiritually to be ready for change. So I just want to give you a couple tips on how to get ready for change. The first thing is that you have to understand that nothing is forever. And I know that's, that's kind of hard for us to accept nothing is forever as a matter of fact i'll tell you a personal story about about me i wanted to really really be a youtuber i really really wanted to be a youtuber and when i say i wanted to be a youtuber i mean i wanted to make and post a video every single day because i like talking i like making videos i like editing the videos i like posting the videos i like seeing people's feedback i like when people comment i i genuinely get um a, a, a sense of satisfaction from the process now I mentioned before, and if you, you actually follow my work, you know that my full-time job is, you know, I'm a full-time writer. I do public speaking. I do public speaking. I've been doing public speaking for three years. So primarily the public speaking and my books are the two things that pay me, right? That's how I, that's how I make money. So with YouTube, I saw it as a third opportunity, a way to um, add revenue to what I was doing as well as advance my brand. I thought it would help bring, um, you know, bring my words alive, it, uh, give my personality behind my words, give, you know, a real perspective of how a person is, how I am, um, you know, behind the screen per se, like behind my writings per se. So, you know, I've had my heart set for the last like two years, especially the last year on um, becoming, you know, a full-time YouTuber. So I started taking this a little bit more serious right around October of last year. And I just started pumping out videos, 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 because I know how social media works, you know. If you wanna make it on any social media platform, first thing you need is content. And you need to be consistent with posting your content. So I was doing that from uh, last October until probably middle of this summer, because I was finishing a book. And when I'm finishing the book, there's just no time for YouTube. So I had to prioritize. So now that the book is pretty much done, um, pretty much done editing, I told myself like, okay, let's get back into YouTube. So I, I go on YouTube today and I see that a lot of people are being, uh, excuse me if I say this wrong, I think, I think the right word is demonetized. They're being demonetized, meaning the ads are not playing on their videos. Now that's how YouTubers make money, is ad companies playing ads on their videos because the videos are getting viewed by hundreds of thousands, in some cases, millions of people. Right. And it's, it's an exchange. It's saying, hey, I have this audience. I have this attention. I'm going to allow you to run your ad on it. And because of that, you're going to pay me. That's pretty much the exchange. But now the ad people and I don't know all the details. I'm still one of those people. I got to go check it out. But I just wanted to give you the background. I mean, I don't know all the details of why, but it seems like the ad uh, companies have pretty much removed themselves from uh, the process of funding their ads on you know, a lot of YouTube videos is very select now. As a matter of fact, when I logged in, I had like 20, 20 or 30 videos of mine. I have 150 total. I think it was a 30 videos of mine that were um, demonetized. And that made me think about change. I mean, it's September 1st. I, I wanted to get back today and get rolling on YouTube. And I'm just sitting here thinking about change. So the first thing I want you to realize, and that was the point of the story to help you understand where I'm coming from, uh, everything changes. Nothing stays the same forever. Ever, ever, ever. Nothing ever stays the same. I think Drake had an album called Nothing Was The Same. Um, the second thing I want you to do is to be agile, all right? I want you to be like, um, you know, a football player. They have a lot of agility. I want you to be like a, a cheetah, right? Don't just be fast in a straight line. You want to be able to move fast side to side. You want to be able to bounce off of things. If things go wrong, you want to be able to bounce back. So always in your mind, um, be agile, 
be agile. Like Bruce Lee has that quote where he says, you know, be like water. Water crashes, it burns. You put water in a teacup, it becomes a teacup. You put water in a pot, it becomes the pot. That's one of the greatest quotes ever. So be like water, be like how Bruce Lee was saying, be adaptable, be willing to adapt to things. And then the third thing that you definitely have to do when it comes to change is you have to not necessarily have a backup plan. I don't really like the way that sounds. You have to be agile enough, you have to be smart enough to come up with a new plan instantly if the old plan fails. When I think of a backup plan, I think of people kind of cheating on the primary plan. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to having having um, the ability that when what you're focusing on fails, you can switch gears instantly without feeling devastated, right? Because there are YouTubers, and I'm not one of them, but there are YouTubers who they make money full time off of YouTube. They invest, and I can tell you right now, editing videos, you know, putting the thumbnails, tagging the videos, writing a description, trying to promote it. I mean, one video that may last a minute or two minutes can honestly take six or seven hours. You know, for obviously everyone's process is different. Some people are recording themselves. Some people are recording, you know, video gameplay. Some people are out in the world recording their blogs. Like obviously the content is different. But what I'm telling you is. If you know someone who is doing everything, they're doing, and most YouTubers are, they're doing everything. It may take them six, seven, eight hours just to get one video out. That's just a few minutes long. This month is gonna bring a lot of change, right? Be ready for the change, be agile, be like water, be adaptable, be willing to learn new skills, be willing to do new things, because everything that you're doing in your life, you're not gonna be able to do forever. You're not gonna know the same people forever. You're gonna meet new people. You're gonna stop being friends with people. Some people are gonna, die some people are going to be born that's just the way life works it's a continuous cycle it's a continuous circle so be adaptable don't be rigid people who are rigid they're never successful they're never happy they're always depressed they're always sad be adaptable be adaptable to change you do that and you will have a great life